Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online reading number 46 on All Hallows' Eve in 2014. Today's All a big Hallows day. Eve. Uh, yes, I, today's a big day. I hope you guys remember why. As always, these meetings are recorded. In case you can't guess now, you'll be able to guess the meeting and go back and watch all of this all over again. Agenda. Triage. Whip review, like we've been doing for the last few weeks open discussion on progress and then the questions and comments for people that didn't get their questions and comments sent to me before today. Not a lot to say on this slide. We'll move on. Bob, you ready for triage? Uh, I am ready. All right. Exciting stuff here. Um, allow checkbox on modify page. Evaluate this. Try to implement the change. It's rather trivial. Cool. So, 3x. Do we want to? Uh, I assume we're not going to take this in 3.9 because it's been this way for a while. So we take it 3.10. And uh, that's reasonable. Yeah. Tobias is here, so he says he'll have a pull request. So 3.10, and we can assign it to Tobias here, and hopefully it'll show up. That works for me. Sound good to you? All right. He says, okay, we're good to go there. Next one, swap run. This is sad. Lost this. This is very this. sad. This is very sad. Um, the uh, you know, the biggest issue is that we lost the swap run to network. Yeah, for network. Uh, so anyone who runs a bundle from a network share and has even a sniffle of network Disconnect crashes. Right. Very sad. Three ten. Uh, yes. You or me? I'll take it. Okay. Uh, you'll send a pull request for four two. Hmm. Yes, I will because I have to. Yes. Technically speaking, you should fix it four and then backport the work to three. However, I expect that this code is identical in both of those branches. So it that's true, yeah. It won't be that big a deal. Disable burn logging via log element. Still creates MSI with cryptic file names. All right, this. Another one from Tobias. And he has this. If this, do that. So this could maybe be another pull request if he's already got this tested and stuff like that. All right, cool. So if we see pull requests for this, we could do this in 3.10, Bob? Sure. And 4. Actually, both of those should be 4, right? Yes, and 4, right? Oh, yes. you know, yep. we, need a, we need a way to tag. Something as 3 and 4? Yeah. We can yeah. discuss that at another meeting. Yes, don't have that here. Nope. Burn engine should provide a call back after user accepts UAC. I agree with that. We, this actually came up a long time ago, but I guess nobody opened the bug or we lost the bug or we forgot about it. And it's not a good thing. Ah, Sean notes that the, the previous bug on the checkboxes won't be needed in 4 because he already made a change to redo the way Wix Center BA handles all that stuff, which I do remember now being right. a thing. Oh, it's coming. All right, so it's not there yet. Okay, oh. good. I remember the discussion. I guess there's been no pull request. All right, cool. So that will be good. I'll let Sean and Tobias duke it out as to whose pull request should be taken in the end. Bribes are accepted. Uh, no, it's all good. Um, and we should do this. Let's toss it 4.0 for now, and hopefully it will get done. If not, I'm going to keep an eye on it and maybe do it, because there really should be a callback for this. Ah, Sean says he'll take it. Sweet. Even better. It's really unfortunate that we didn't get a callback for this Elevate thing. So, anyway. That should take care of all the bugs, right? I believe so. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. All right, cool. So there'll be a new callback. That'll be great. Moving over to whips that we have might have out there, we're getting a couple little bugs, small features that don't need whips by any 
thing. Um, and I don't think anything's changed here in the last week or so. Wix 4 kind of going, doing things. Uh, I don't know if we have any discussions on this part here. Sean and Tobias are doing battle in the discussions over on the side. And that's that's good. Anything you want to talk about here, Bob? Uh, general general question that we've Shoot. we've discussed is uh, uh, we discussed it also when we introduced the whip concept. Um, but like uh, this was a thread on Wixdevs, and it was about compression level. Oh yes, compression and level. You raised the question. Do we need a whip for it? Kind of. And I replied with, do we need a whip for this? Um, and, and we're going to run into this, I think, a bit more in 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 4X because, you know, well, you look here, it's like some of these things, we need the, we need the background. Um you know, again, for the, for the whip, it's like, why do we have whips? Well, the background is, is kind of what we're, you know, it's the institutional memory. Yes, institutional memory. That's a very good word for it. And no it's actually two words. Terrible. Um, My guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I, I started talking first, so I guess. Uh, kind of... okay, go, go, go. Um, anyway, uh, so, it, but it, it is an interesting question. I mean, beyond beyond the institutional memory, uh, for for things like compression level, it's like is it useful to capture like the 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 stats that I got from you know building a bunch of different packages with different compression levels? I would argue yes, very much so. Okay. Right. Because otherwise, grab someone come along and say why, or someone might come along and say yeah. why, and we'd be like, um, <laughs> why was that? Yeah, that's fair. I mean, the fact that we did data to come up with the answer to that thing is means it's it's immensely more interesting than a lot of the things we've done, where we're just like, yeah, we think we should do that. Yeah, um, yeah. The you know my question is more about you know, you know we did that, but there, there's not really a uh, the whip is not a design document because there's really nothing to design. Well, so, it's a statement of what we're going to do. On debug, it'll be none. On release, it will be high, or whatever we decided. <laughs> Which, <nice. laughs> there. And here's numbers, and the little user story is, as a developer, I build quickly, and as a release service, you know, my build machine does extra work to provide the optimal distribution for users, which takes longer but works out better even nominally. Yep. I'm just saying there's no design to it. You know, this isn't uh we're not recording the design, we're recording the data that went into the design. And the design was, you know, if else if. Okay. All right. So fine, except in this case I think the decision making for that is probably the decision to do the feature is the most important thing. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So that, that's why I like them being called, you know, improvement proposals. They don't have to be deep design documents that have lots of stuff because otherwise you'd be right, this would be a very short design document, but right. as an improvement proposal, it's like, here, we should do this and you'd be like, yeah, look at that data. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, that was easy. Okay. Not much design, a whole lot of background. All I was asking. Okay. Some of these are more design, like the whole generated IDs or the... Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Those, kind of, those are more, you know, uh, the access modifiers. Those are all much more complex thingies. All right. Okay. So, moving on, moving on to the next slide, which is actually a new thing. Woo! Yes? Everybody, I need votes. Yes, I'm not going to do a poll. It takes me too long to type in a poll. Sean's like, yes. Hey, man, he even beat John that time. Oh, no, John beat him. My bad. Tobias <laughs> is like, sure, I only show up every, you know, 
every eight months or so like that. It's all good. <laughs> you still boat. That's... Yes. I'm just giving you a bad time. Okay, good. I got a smiley out of Tobias. Um, and, and, and Phil's just ignoring us. He's just like, whatever. I just dialed in to get my attendance points. I don't actually have an opinion. Wait, he's going to find out later that we, we were talking about him. He's going to be like, oh, I missed my chance to be famous or semi-famous or whatever it is. Yay, this is awesome. So a little bit of technical stuff between Bob. All right, actually, I got an exclamation point out of Phil. That's all right. Okay, so um, have to do some work to push this up on CodePlex, get the things, do the master push the master branch, tag it as Wix 3.9, um, probably need to write a blog entry, update the Wix toolset site to say, hey, RTM is here. Um, all this after midnight, essentially, which will work out for me um, tonight. Uh, agreed? Which time zone? Mine. Damn it. <laughs> which makes it 3 a.m. yours. Yeah, um, I, I, will not, I will not be staying up until 3 a.m. to post release. You could be carving pumpkins. I mean, I still haven't done that on my house yet um no anyway all right so mine just to get the just to make sure that none of the servers think it's earlier than that and i don't know how many of our servers are actually pacific based a fair number of them are um so and then it'll be there tomorrow so um bob you and i can work out the blogging thing sure um anybody else that wants to write a blog entry and we can link to them more than happy to do that uh I don't know most of your guys' blog entries, but if you have something you want to contribute to it, the conversation, we can link to you. Um, and all that. So this is very exciting. Um, I wish we were all closer. We could all go out and have a beer or whatever together and cheer. But tomorrow you just have to go out there and see all the little kids running around in their costumes and go, eh, see, they're celebrating the release of Wix 2. Hey, we don't have fireworks so this year, so I guess we'll have to do with the little kids running around dressed up as, uh, what is it going to be this year? Elsa is what I'm hearing. Everybody's going to be out there being Elsa. Yeah, um, I wasn't looking at me. I, for the record, have only just saw Frozen earlier this week when my kid was homesick. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to finally understanding who Elsa is, although those kids better be wearing gloves, damn it. Um, all right. So, finish. Halloween 2014, we're sticking to that. Wix 3.10 can start after Halloween 2014. So, Tobias, your your pull request that you'll send shortly, we'll be able to take it like on Monday. We have a few others to take too, so it'll be all grand. Wix 4.0 features, uh, we covered them. Now's a good time to be doing that. Um, and Wix 4.0 timeline is still sometime in the next year. Um hopefully early next year, not this next year. Uh, but we've been fixing some fun stuff in Wix 4, getting some stuff done. It's all good. Liking it. Liking it. Liking it a lot. I'm kind of flying past the slide at this point because, you know, we talk about it every week. And Actually, I think next week this slide's gone, right? And we just talk about doing stuff in 4 and people that want to fix bugs in 310. It's like, yeah, sure, we'll take that bug in 310, pull it out 3x, open it 310, we'll take it or not and go from there. True, true. I don't know. It might still be interesting to talk oh, about. Yes. We're going to have a discussion about Wix 310 too. And yes, we will we will need to discuss, you know, uh, where the bar is for 310 and and what we're going to do and when we're going to do it. Um, you know, for example, in 310, you know, my plan is to get Visual Studio Dev 14, whatever they're going to call it officially. Uh, I want to get all that support in as soon as we can. Yeah, someone was giving me a hard time on Twitter about that. Yeah, I saw that. Um, my yeah, answer like, has always been... Well, then, shoot, you do the work. <laughs> I don't work on motive. I, I don't care. <laughs> I, well, and it's not, it's not I just I do motive. care. That's not fair. I do care. I just don't work on motive. And it's not just about it, but, you know, I, I look at the uh, the warnings that they, the somewhat dire warnings that they were giving about the CTP releases. You know, the first two, I think, explicitly said, do not install on production machines. And if you've ever worked inside Microsoft on Visual Studio, you know 
to pay attention to warnings like that. <laughs> um, you know, to assume that even. So you would have to do the work in a virtual machine. Yeah, and, and you know, you'd have to bootstrap an entire Wix development environment in a VM, which I've done, but I did not want to redo for Dev 14. I thought uh, that you would you would um, just ins build it on your machine and then install the MSI and pray that it works. Well, no, they, remember we're talking about building with Dev 14 as well. Oh well, then there's the building with Dev 14. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, I, I mean, think I more people are saying the votive support than the than the building with Dev 14. But you are correct. We are, I forgot about all the libs and stuff we have to do. Yeah. See, as I, I want about, to do. I care more about the libs than the votive support personally. Right. Um, right. Right. Sean, what what was what what have they been doing for the last few versions? Oh, he's just bringing up that the CTPs always have dire warnings on them. Oh. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, I, it seems that they've been a bit more confident, perhaps falsely confident, <laughs> in, in how well they're handling side by side. I would uh, still only put it in a virtual machine, but yeah. Exactly. And which is why, you know, what I want to do as soon as the first real beta comes out, um, I'll have a lot more confidence. Um, and, and, you know, worst case, I know how to scrub a machine, but, um, yeah, it, it was not a high priority. It was not a, you know, 3.9 priority at all, and it's a 3.10 thing, but I do want to do it as soon as we get a real data. Um, you know, it should be one of the first things I'll be working on in 3.10 to get it done. Because then we're back to the, uh, you know, well, we're not exactly sure when they're going to release that 14 Windows 10 or Windows 1.0. Um, so I'd rather be done with it as, as much as we can and then, you know, have a little bit of a window to take additional work. Wait, wait, wait. Did you just call Windows 10 Windows 1.0? I did. <laughs> Sorry. I, that almost slipped by me. I was sitting here being lulled to sleep. Like, wait, what? All right. Yeah, whatever. Okay. All right. Uh, yes. We, it would be nice for us to be waiting on them instead of us scrambling to try to catch up to whatever's yeah. going on there. There certainly will That's be that. Cool. And that it is. will, you know, sometime next year. I expect we'll have it out by the first half, which may mean that 3.10 and 4.0 come out near t to each other. It is possible. That means we need to do the same work in 4 that we do for 3 but we can do it after 3 is stable, oh, so we can just pick up the changes and go, these are what you need. For Dev 14 support? For Dev 14 support. Okay. That, um, that works for me. I'm, I'm fine doing it that way. I'll just pick up all the changes and bring them over. Which hopefully won't be that bad, because the build system hasn't changed radically since Wix 3.7. And that, right. Yeah, and that... Votive. I right. was kind of hoping. All right, we'll have we'll have a discussion about 310 next week. I think we'll be ready for that. We can wander around this stuff and do all yeah. that. Yeah. Cool. Works for me. All right. Anything else? Questions, comments? People want to bring something up? Uh, be excited about the Wix 3.9 release? I mean, those kinds of things. Um, other stuff, exciting stuff going around? Also, Tobias has some questions about technical stuff. Do we talk about non-technical stuff here? No. Never. Um, can I connect via my company's link client instead of web access? Uh, totally your call. I don't have any problem with it. I guess you'd have to ask your company if they had issues with you use, using link to communicate to a bunch of open source hooligans running around out there developing important software. So, uh, at Fire Giant, I do it at Fire Giant. Of course, I'm hosting it through Fire Giant, so I guess that's something. But at Fire Giant, I just click on the little join button on the machine that I always use to log in with Link and Link pops up and does all of this for me, which is why we do it this way because I figure out how to make it work in Link. <laughs> so anyway. Uh, I think that requires Outlook to because the message you send doesn't have... to a web page. 
Yeah, that's exactly. And that's yeah, yeah. web page open and then closes and launches link. I think they probably have some sort of protocol thing in there or something. Yeah. But it's not generic because I have link running as well and doesn't does not kick in for me. Oh. But then, you know, I'm not Maybe it only works if you send it to the right email address? I don't know. I don't know. I use Outlook as well, so. Other than the annoying fact that they change the web plugin far more often than they really probably need to, the web stuff actually works well. All right. I can't complain. Hey, we can hear you, and that's something, right? Yes. Because uh, we certainly had problems with that in the past. So, all right, so people basically are saying most of them use the web client and not the link client, and I can't tell you the difference between launching the two of them. Um, <laughs> I did have a funny story where before we had launched Fire Giant, uh, we had all of our Office 365 stuff set up, and I had to be very careful about logging into link-based meetings because <laughs> otherwise Robert Fire Giant would now be joining and I was like, no, 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 Fire Giant doesn't exist. You didn't see that. And I accidentally clicked on a link, what turned out to be a link meeting with somebody before we had launched Fire Giant and I had to like cancel, cancel, kill, sign out, shut down, reboot machine and then figure out how to pass that little SL test equals one or whatever thing to make sure that the web page popped up instead of it launching the link client. That was actually a real pain. I was late to that meeting, by the way. Um, <laughs> I remember that. That was very stressful. That was a very stressful moment. So much so that I remember it. And that was, gosh, a year and a half ago now? Anyway, I'm wandering around about Fire Giant origin stories. Anybody got anything else uh, they want to talk about Wix about? Not that Fire Giant is unrelated to Wix, but, <laughs> I mean, completely unrelated, but, you know. Uh, da, 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 da. Anyway, nothing, nothing, going, going. Can I get it gone? All right. I think we're good. This is this is good. We we made it all the way to Halloween, not taking a bug switch three nine. We got a couple good things coming in three ten. Ah, John caught me right there. Did the alley oop and he came back. Um with the gone. It's awesome. So I think that's it. Um exciting times. All of you should go home and think about going Wix three nine. Hey, I shipped that. I was part of that. That's gonna be like an awesome thing. At least those of you that show up here and committed bit bug fixes and otherwise help us, you know, do stuff. It's like, yeah, it's awesome. Those of you listening at home, checking out this meeting uh, that isn't live, hey, we appreciate you hanging out too. Um, in fact, I got one of the best compliments this last week. I almost forgot. Um, so I went, I took uh, Peter Marcou, who is an old-time Wix guy who hasn't been able to join us for quite a while. Um, well, since a long time ago. Uh, third kid, I think, kind of did him in. He's one of those. Anyway, he and I went to the Sounders game on, gosh, what was that? Saturday afternoon. And they won, and they became the top of the league, and it was an awesome, glorious day. But before the game, so he just didn't say this because he's, you know, happy about the game, he mentioned that he had found the Wix YouTube feed, and he was listening to it, and he said that he found the feed actually, or the, the videos, actually enjoyable. Like, this, which brings me back to Bob. We really probably could do that podcast I always said we could do. Right, right, right. <laughs> Not that I know what we would talk about, but we probably could talk about whatever and make things happen. But all you guys out here adding questions and stuff like that, he was like, you know, it's one of those podcasts that he could leave on, or podcast, one of those videos that he could leave on the side and let kind of roll and listen for things that were important. So I was like, that's yeah. cool. Hey, that makes me happy that our meetings are not boring and dry and things like that, which means maybe we've captured a little bit of the Wix culture that was inside Microsoft because Peter certainly was there through a lot of that and was able to come out here and say, yeah, you guys are doing all right, doing a good job. So um, anyway, I, I thought that was good. So hey, yeah. Bob, good on you. Thank you, thank you. Um, and on that note, on a happy note, we've released and people – at least one person has said they appreciate the videos. Um, and if you appreciate the video, feel free to leave comments below. I don't think I've said that before. YouTube, you can leave comments on YouTube if you're watching this later. Leave them. Those mails get sent 
at least to me. I don't know if they get sent to more people. But those questions get sent in. So if you leave a comment, we can go and respond to it, especially if you can now leave like little time slices of when you're talking about something. You can say, at this time, you guys are talking about this. In fact, Peter mentioned that we were talking about something in patching that he knew the uh -huh. answer to. <laughs> And he did not leave a comment. And I'm going to go back and bug him about that. It was just like one of those go. things, well, why didn't you just say so? All right, he wasn't on the call. Anyway, good times, good stuff. I think we're getting there. We're starting to get the hang of this thing. It feels pretty good. We're another year in this new process. Are we two years in this process after triage and all that? Feels good. Yeah. Year and a half? Something. Yeah. Like and and WIX 3.9 is our first big release, right? Did we do WIX 3.8 out? Yeah, no, we've three it out. Yeah, we have three it was the last in-house release. Yeah. So, I, I three nine feels like a bigger release than three eight. I feel like we've done some big stuff here. Yeah, well, like some... yeah, three three eight we we kind of just let cook for a while and then suddenly went, oh, we should probably ship it or yeah. get twelve. And uh, right, that's so what it was. It felt yeah. shorter. Yeah, this has more features in it. This is good stuff. This yeah. Is more features from new people like Sean and Jacob. So, anyway, I've now hit the half hour mark. So, I think we're going to call this meeting good, like I tried to do before when John said it was gone. Um, but, anyway, think about it. Awesome things. This is a very large software project, and you guys are all part of it. And we love that. So, until next week, uh, keep your eye out for the RTM release if you want to be part of the blogging you know, fest that goes on, which is basically just Bob and I these days, but if you have something you want to contribute, jump on in, let me know, we'll get you hooked up, we'll get the website up, we'll get the stuff posted to the CodePlex, hopefully everything goes smoothly, it should, and we'll uh, declare victory and you can do a little dance tomorrow while you know getting hyped up on sugar. Yay. And next week we'll talk about 310. All right? All right? Good. Sounds good to me. All right, until next time, you guys have a good time. Later. Bye.